Hey guys, this is Steve with Edgecross X, and today I'm going to show you some tips on how to get started with form and setting up your edge cross once you get it. So let's go. All right, well, first of all, I wanna congratulate everybody on getting your edge cross. So now I'm gonna get right into some basics on how to set up the edge cross and get ready so you can start working out right away. First thing you'll notice is that when you get your unit, you have a main bar. You also have a set of handles. Now these handles, it's really important that they're set onto the bar properly. You'll notice that the handle has a slight angle to it. If you're handle is set properly, you'll get the perfect grip and you'll get a really effective exercise. The next thing I want to show you is that there are four holes on each side of the edge cross. Now the holes are very specific because each of these are like adding weight to your workout. The closer the grip is to the end, the easier the pivot will be. Let me show you. So if it's close to the end, when you go to do your pivot, it's gonna be a little bit easier move. Now, as you move these in, it's gonna become more difficult. That's like adding weight to a barbell. As you move this one into the second position, it's gonna be like adding another 15 or 20 pounds to your workout. So when you get up to the fourth position, it could be like adding 100 pounds to your workout. And the way this works is through leverage. So the leverage is less the closer you are to the end. Now we can remove the handle very easily just by screwing off this nut and pulling it out. They come off very easily. So that makes it easy for you to adjust it to whatever level you want. Now if you go into let's say fourth position here, it's gonna become much more difficult. As you can see, the handle now and the end are very far apart. This is gonna create a lot of leverage and more difficulty for you to bring the bar up. Um, and I'll show you here. So now on this side, we have one in first position. It's much easier. Now here that I'm in fourth position, you're gonna notice it's gonna be much harder for me to lift this end off the ground, which is then gonna make the workout much more difficult. So now I'm going to change the handle back to first position so I can show you some techniques on how to get started and get the proper form for your workout. Simply tighten the nut and you're ready to go. So the first thing I want to show you is how to properly position your body over the bar. Now you want to make sure that like you're doing a push-up the bar is set right at your lower chest. You don't want it up by your forehead um, or do, up by your neck. You want to make sure that it is right in on your lower chest. So let me show you how, how that's done. The way I like to do it is to do a push-up every time to make sure that the bar is hitting me right at the lower chest and not up. You want to make sure that the bar is not way in front of you because this is not going to allow you to do the, the exercise properly. It's really crucial, again, to make sure. Now, the way you can start off if you're, um, in order to do this is you can start down on your knees. You don't necessarily have to go into full push-up position. You can position yourself with your knees kicked back, make sure that the bar is right underneath you, and go ahead and do a push-up on, on the bar. Now you know it's set in the right location. So then you're ready to do what we call the side row. And that's where you do a push-up, and you pull one side in to your hip. And I'll show you on this side. We'll do a push-up and pull one side into your hip. Now, if you notice, when I pull in, I'm not pulling up by my face. I'm pulling back into my hip. And the bar is still positioned right under my lower chest. Pull in about three quarters of the way. You don't need to pull all the way in until you're hitting your, your side. You can pull in just till you're right about there, three quarters of the way, and then come down. Now you can do repetitions like this 
for beginning. And then you can also, if you feel like you'd like to, you can put and add a little more resistance. Make sure your legs are back. You don't want them way up under here because then you have no resistance. So make sure you're kicked back and you do have some weight over the bar. Not too much to begin with and pull up. Okay, so now that you're down in this position with your knees back a little bit, so you have some uh, weight over the top of the bar, and you wanna make sure you do your push up to get, make sure you're in the proper position. You can actually lift one leg back, lift your back leg up, and it'll be the opposite side of the side you're about to bring in. So what you do is you might make sure your, your weight is forward a bit and then pull up. Now you're gonna hold this in a static position for a second. Then what you can do is put, put it down lightly and then switch legs. Pull up into your hip, into your side, and then hold. While you're holding, you're really going to engage your core and your glutes, your arms. Then what you can do is you can get creative with this one if you want and you can start doing moves. Back again and doing reps. This is really good. This is a great way to get started with the, with the edge cross. All right, so the next beginner move I'm going to show you is what we call the balancing press. This is how it's done. You kneel down, put the bar right on the ground, right in front of you. Right at, you're still going to be right over the top where your chest is in line with the bar, the lower chest. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold in about 45 degrees. And then you're going to kick your feet back and then just hold that position. And then you're going to come back up, stand up, come back down again, put the bar on the ground, holding at about 45 degrees, and then you're gonna hold in a static position here. This one's great because you can kinda jump up, jump back, jump up, jump back, and hold it. Now if you wanna get a little more creative with this one, you can start to do some reps in between. You're really gonna start feeling this one. So down, doing reps, come back up, go down again, doing reps, Come back up. That's a great move for beginners. It'll help you get the form down, it'll get your muscles tight, and get everything used to the movements that you're about to do with the Edge Cross X. All right, so the next beginner move I'm gonna show you is called the Wide Stance Row. And let me show you how it's done. You start with your legs pretty wide apart, further than uh, shoulder width apart. You're gonna lean over and put the bar on the ground right in front of you. You wanna make sure it's not way in front of you here. You wanna make sure it's right underneath you. Same position at about lower chest. So you wanna make sure you have a little bit of weight over the top of the bar. Make sure you're not back because then you have no resistance. The thing that's nice is you can add resistance just by leaning a little bit of weight over the top of the bar. Now that you've got your wide stance, you can adjust and start to pull into a row. Again, you don't wanna pull up by your face. You wanna pull straight back into your hip about 45 or I'm sorry about three quarters of the way then you're gonna switch to the other side switch to the other side you'll notice this is not too difficult but this will get you the movements down it'll start to work your muscles you're, you're tight in all of your locations everything in your body your core is tight everything's tight you're gonna learn proper form with this move and it's really nice you can start to do it quickly slowly you can start doing repetitions one two three switch one two three then what you can do if you want to make this a little bit more difficult is just to start putting your feet back a little bit and that's going to add a little more weight over the top of the bar again making sure that you're right over the top at um, same position right under your lower chest so you're going to kick your feet back this is going to add more resistance and make the workout a little bit harder then you can keep going back. All right, so now I'm gonna show you another great beginner move. This one's called the mountain climber or running start. So let me show you how it's done. First, you're gonna put the bar down right in front of you. Then you're gonna kick your feet back, holding in a push-up position over the top, making sure that you're positioned properly. Again, with the bar right under your lower chest. You want to make sure you're not at you're never up here this is not a correct move so what you want to do is you put the bar right under your lower chest again you're going to kick your feet back now what i want you to do is you're going to bring one foot forward kind of like you're about to take off for a, a race make sure your foot's not too far forward again because then you'll have zero resistance you want to put it back a little bit and you're going to be on the balls of your toes then what you can do is you can start to do 
the side row again. You're gonna have the leg that's in the same as the side that you're lifting up. So you can kind of assist yourself with the lift and get used to the movement. Foot up, and I'm gonna pull into the side position. And what I can do is I kick back and switch legs, make sure I'm not too far forward or too far up. You want it right on the ball of your foot, same side. Now you can adjust how much pressure you want, but you want to teeter like right over the top of the bar and then start to do your row. Switch, pull in, do a couple reps, flip. This one is great. Now if you want to make this one even a little more difficult as you're progressing, what you can do is you can lift one leg. So as your foot is forward, you're gonna lean a little more weight over the top until your foot comes off the ground. So as your foot's com coming off, the back foot's coming off the ground, then you're gonna start to lift. Now you're gonna really feel it in your quads, in your core, glutes are gonna be screaming, your calves, everything. You're gonna start really feeling it work. So then what you do is you can switch feet again Bring your weight up so you're balancing right over the top and then do your press. Now hold, you can hold static or you can start doing repetitions. Jump into another one, go like this, lift up, jump back. This one's great. All right guys, so let me recap what we've gone over today. We've learned how to set up the edge cross. We've learned how to position the handles properly and move them into the different holes on the bar in order to create more resistance. We've also learned how to make sure that the bar is always underneath your lower chest and never up high. It's always gonna be below your, uh, uh, right, right at your lower chest. We've also learned um, some beginner moves to get you guys ready and started and familiar with the edge cross. And the ones we went over are the wide stance, the running start, the balancing press, and also starting off in the knee position with your knees on the ground. Now these are great to get your body used to the movements of the edge cross. It's gonna get you strong. You're gonna start feeling everything. You're gonna, your core is gonna be super, super tight through all of these exercises. And just remember that this is a completely portable fitness system that you can take with you everywhere. So you'll never be without your workout again. So you can visit us on our website, edgecrossx.com. We're on Instagram and Facebook, EdgeCrossX. You can also check out our YouTube channel at EdgeCrossX, where we're gonna be posting videos constantly of different moves, routines, and advancements with the EdgeCrossX system. So this is the next evolution in fitness, and I'm glad you guys are here.